And good afternoon and welcome to another edition of ETBU Extra. Hello, I'm Mike Midkiff. Thank you for clicking in today at GoETBTigers.com on the ETB Sportsnet. Broadcasting live from the Student Center on the campus of East Texas Baptist University on the first floor. And our first guest today is the head coach of the Lady Tigers softball program, Janae Shirley. And right off the top of the bat, Coach Shirley, I want to say, first of all, congratulations on your 300th career coaching win as Thank the head you. coach of the Lady Tigers. It happened in, in a weekend series. And uh, the first question I want to ask you about that, 100 is a big number for a coach to get in a career. Do right. you remember your 100th career victory? I do. It was really um, strange how my 100 and 200 both happened. The wonder, 100th win was uh, the win we got against Louisiana College to send us to the World Series. So that one is definitely one I remember for sure. That was a great year that year. It was a great year. That was a week. That was a series in Louisiana that was very difficult to win. It was. It, you know, that year we had played Louisiana College, I think, nine times. And lost to him the first six, I think, and ended up winning when it counted. And, um, you know, for us, we got to really enjoy the World Series because the hard part was regionals. Getting through Lazy in a college that had one of the best programs and teams that I had ever seen um, them have. They probably at that time had the best team in the nation. And, you know, we played really well that weekend and um, came out of it with two wins, so it was awesome. What about the 200th win? 200th win was actually in 2013. And it was when we beat uh, UT Tyler to win the conference championship. So that one was definitely a memorable one as well. Now, is the 300th win easy to remember? Because well, it just happened uh, <laughs> and, uh, against UT Dallas when you won 5-3 to three in game two of that weekend series. What do you remember about that one? Well, I, it did just happen. You know, we knew going into the UT Dallas series that it was going to be difficult for us. And they've been playing really well all year. So, you know, it wasn't... A, uh, we didn't walk away from that win with a trophy, but I definitely think that us winning that game is going to be um, crucial this season because a lot of teams are losing to UT Dallas. UT Dallas has taken big games from a lot of people, so um, I think it is going to end up proving to be a big game for us. Of course, over the weekend, you win the series, sweep them three games to nothing. You, know, you told me at the beginning of the year that your bats would come alive. And right. whoa, the ball did fly out of the ballpark as right. Caitlin Hollings did with two home runs, Jamie Perez with a home run. And, and you expect that from your hitters, don't you? Especially yeah. those hitters. Yeah. You know, one of the cool things about this team this year is that every week it's somebody different stepping up. And, you know, we do have a lot of kids in our lineup pretty much from top to bottom that can hit it out of the ballpark at any time. And so, you know, it was great. We actually, um, Jamie Perez got hurt in that series and didn't even play in that last game. And, you know, the, the kid that kind of stepped in for her came in and, um, you know, Alexis Padilla came in and had a great uh, series for us or a great game for us. And she hit a home run as well. So it's, it's really awesome to see this team, like, pick each other up and, um, you know, adjust according to who's pitching against us. In game three of the series, you win six to three. Padilla had a home run in that ball game, and Shelby Erbeck got her first collegiate career home run. What's it like for a coach to see one of your athletes get their first collegiate home run? Yeah, it's really cool to see these athletes grow, you know, throughout their careers and, you know, to see them hit milestones and um, do things that they hadn't been able to do before or come, come along and grow um, is really neat for us. You know, I've gotten to see some of those players, especially our junior class is really big this year. And so really seeing that group just grow as athletes and as people has really been fun for us. There's so many in that class and they are part of, um, you know, a great to the 2014 year where we won super regionals and went to the World Series. So it's been neat to see that group grow and change. And it's just fun as a coach to see them hit milestones. Talking Lady Tiger soccer here on e to Extra, talking about the weekend series against UT Dallas. Now, this week, the American Southwest Conference named the pitcher of the week, Kelly Joe McClendon from ETBU. And, and I was kind of surprised as I read over uh, the stats from the weekend that you pitched her in all three ball games, and she won all three ball games, Good. which is why she's the ASC pitcher of the week. What was the decision about that? Well, um, you know, Kelly Jo, first of all, like she threw a really good game the first game and, you know, the conditions were a little different. The wind was blowing straight out and Kelly Jo throws down. And so for us, it gave us an opportunity to keep the ball in the ballpark. Um, Rocky and the other pitchers throw a little bit different. And so that was part, played a part into um, our decision there. But, you know, after she had that first game and really neutralized what they did, you know, and then through that second game really well, it was like, you know, why not? I could have made the decision to keep <laughs> yeah, her in there. And why not? Let's try her again the third game. And, and she did a really good job. It's hard to um, go all season and not be asked to play, to pitch three games in a row. And, you know, all of a sudden that's put on you. But she did a really good job of handling it. She handled it like a senior. And 
um, we were pleased with her performance for sure. So congratulations to Kelly Jo McClendon from Livingston, Texas. Uh, she had a, an ERA in those three ball games of 1.75, 1, 1 and she held the batters to a 175 average. And, of course, she has won her last six games in the circle. So congratulations to Kelly Jo McClendon being named this week's American Southwest Conference Pitcher of the Week. Before we talk about your upcoming series in Austin against Concordia, let's go back to the start of spring break for ETBU. Made a nice little trip uh, to, to the east, to Columbia, Georgia, to play in the mm -hmm. in NFCA leadoff classic and you won the silver bracket so pretty pretty good showing talk about the weekend yeah it was um, a great opportunity anytime you get invited to the top 25 tournament that's a great opportunity for your team and your program and for us you know we we do face the same programs over and over and so it's nice to see um, different teams and face different types of competition but we knew we'd go out there and get tested and um, you know, each team that we played was a great program, and so we were pleased with how the girls performed. We actually did end up in the gold bracket, but because all the Texas teams did really well, they kind of switched, switched it up. Account. So we didn't have to face the same teams that we're going to end up Which facing. Which would have been UT Tyler. Would have been UT Tyler and T Texas Lutheran, and we actually would have had Texas Lutheran first game out, and whoever won that would have had UT Tyler. So, um, so it ended up great for us that they moved us brackets, and um, we got to face different people. We had a great show, and the kids did really well and um, you know we walked away from that helping ourselves for sure. Now a trip like that and a weekend like that how does that prepare your team say for the postseason because it's a different mentality when you go into a weekend like that facing top teams in the nation. It is I mean you have to you aren't preparing for the same team three times you're preparing for different teams and you know something that we do in our program is we don't necessarily focus on who we're playing we focus on what we do so it doesn't really change from game to game and you know our girls did a great job of adjusting um, based off of what each pitcher was doing to them and you know it showed with how successful we were that weekend so we were we were pleased with it. So after the series with UT Dallas this past weekend, the Lady Tigers are 18-4 and four on the year, 11-1 in American Southwest Conference play. Now they will travel to Austin, Texas to play Concordia uh, this Thursday and Friday. Talk about the series coming up against Concordia. Well, we're excited to go to that area. We have, um, you know, several, quite a few players from right around Concordia. And so it's just a cool opportunity to be able to go to their home and, get a lot of people out to watch them play and stuff like that. So we're excited for the opportunity. You know, every week we don't change our, our mindset, just play our ball and, you know, um, play, our, play how we play and do the things that we need to do to, to be successful. So that's kind of our mindset going into this weekend. Well, one of those players is Lacey Lindsay. She's from Leander, which Concordia is right in her own backyard. So she'll probably have a lot of family in the stands. Now, I do notice that Concordia has a new ballpark in its turf, it which is, is kind of unusual for a softball team to play on turf. Do you prepare for that or just go out and play like you normally do? No, um, one of the things I know going into playing on a turf field is it's a little truer hop. So we aren't really really concerned about that. We'll have 30 minutes before the game to kind of take ground balls and things like that. And it's not really going to change our focus. I know theirs is a little unique. It has it actually has a dirt mound or a dirt uh, circle. So, I mean, the pitchers, it's not going to affect them as much. Um, so we'll just, it'll, it'll be interesting. So we're kind of excited to play on something different. I'm kind of waiting to see how things play out. Of course, <laughs> I want the Tigers to win all three games of the series coming up against Concordia. Well, Coach, just what's ahead for the Tiger softball program after you get through this series? Well, um, you know, we're at a, like, really pivotal point in our season right now. Um, the, the girls have done a great job of every week, like, continuing to get better on the things. And, you know, we want to be playing our best ball in postseason. And so each week they are. They're continuing to get better. We do have a couple of big series. You know, every series is going to be big for us because we're trying to be one of those six teams that makes it to the conference tournament. And, um, you know, this week with Concordia, Concordia has taken games from quite a few people. And so going out of that and winning the series and trying to win all three games is going to be big for us. Next week we have a, a big kind of long week. You know, we moved our Tyler series to next week so that we could go to the leadoff classic. And so I noticed the schedule is kind of tight. A lot of games in a week, it week is, and a half. It is. But I do think, you know, playing six games in three days over at the leadoff classic will help prepare us for what's coming up and – you know, the next weekend we have um, Ozarks at home in our Strikeout Cancer Series, so um, we're excited for that, too. Before I let you go, I want to talk about the Strikeout Cancer Series and what that involves in the fundraising and where it goes. Well, what we have is uh, we've been doing this, I think this is our eighth year. Um, the softball team raises money 
to go into a fund here on campus and what we do with that money is any faculty, staff, or student, or family members of those three that are battling cancer, we actually are able to cut them a $500 check and just help them with expenses, travel, purchasing a wig, medical bills, things like that. Um, just anything that we can do to provide a little bit of relief for them in their hard time is kind of what we do. Um, each year they, they sell t-shirts or hats or different things like that. This year we're, we're selling t-shirts. Um, in the fall, the basketball team joined in and helped us out and you know raised two, three thousand dollars in the fall through basketball. We've had other organizations here on campus help and put the money towards that. So um, just giving back to our ETB family and taking care of them as they're struggling is um, something that our team is passionate about. And you know, they're working really hard to keep that fund alive and be able to help as many people as they possibly can. So I encourage folks who might watch this video later on YouTube, you see some pop up on Facebook or Twitter feed about helping out one of our students sell t-shirts. Hey, why don't you just tweet them back and say, buy one. Or just, if you're on campus, walk up to them and say, hey, I'll take two t-shirts. That's what I did earlier when Jamie Perez walked yes. by. And glad to do that because of, of what the Strikeout Cancer Series does and helps those here on our campus who are battling cancer. Coach, any final words you want to say before we let you go? And don't. Well, once again, congratulations Thank on you. that 300 career win. I've been here 13 years. I wish I could say I've seen them all, but I haven't. But I've seen a lot of them. You have. And it's been fun following Lady Tiger softball. I'm looking forward to the season and what, how this season will end. And hopefully it ends at the national tournament again. Yep. Thank you. All right. Coach Janae Shirley, our guest here on ETV Extra. Don't go away. Still more to come on ETV Extra as we broadcast live from the Student Center on the campus of East Texas Baptist University.